as to why they are so confident that Russia was behind the attacks. ABC's Kenneth Moton explains. World power retaliation, President Obama taking action against Russia and its president Vladimir Putin for trying to interfere in the 2016 U.S. election. The intelligence that I've seen gives me great confidence in their assessment that the Russians carried out this hack. The punishment, public economic sanctions and covert actions the White House may never disclose after the cyber attacks on the Democratic Party. This morning, Russia's foreign ministry said if Washington actually takes new hostile steps, then it will get a response. The U.S. intelligence community says Russia's goal in the hackings to hurt Hillary Clinton and help now President-elect Donald Trump, who's still not accepting those findings. I think we ought to get on with our lives. I think the computers have complicated lives very greatly. Uh, the whole you know, age of computer has made it where nobody knows exactly what's going on. We have speed, we have a lot of other things, but I'm not sure you have the kind of security that you need. Trump's readiness to move on could put him on a collision course with members of his own party who say Russia is also meddling with other countries. It is a threat to the very fundamentals of democracy if a nation or entity can affect the outcome of an election in the United States or in any other democracy throughout the world. The White House says it will also provide proof today that Russia was behind the recent hacks. President Obama has ordered an intelligence community review of Russia hacking that will be completed before he leaves office in three weeks. Reporting in the Northwest, Kenneth Moten, ABC 7 News. Well, tensions between Israel and the Obama administration are also escalating this noon. Israeli's prime minister says he is looking forward to working with the Trump administration. It's after Secretary of State John Kerry's latest comments on expanding Israeli settlements. Kerry defended the U.S.'s decision to allow a U.N. resolution that broke with the longstanding tradition. Kerry says the settlements jeopardize the two-state solution between Israel and Palestinians, which did not sit well with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And we cannot properly defend and protect Israel if we allow a viable two-state solution to be destroyed before our own eyes. I must express my deep disappointment with the speech today of John Kerry. Israel looks forward to working with President-elect Trump. And President-elect Trump said he has different views on the issue, adding that we'll see what happens after January 20th. And new this noon, 2016 expected to be the hottest year on record once the final data is in. That is according to an assessment by the World Meteorological Organization. That would mean 16 of the 17 hottest years on record have been in this century. The other was 1998. The WMO assessment says according to preliminary data, 2016's global temperatures are about 1.2 degrees above pre-industrial levels. Really? That is surely the case. I don't remember it being that hot this this summer or this year. Well, yeah, I mean, we had that drought little pocket there okay. and things were very, very warm. And it's not only the summertime that's warm, but also this time of year yeah. we've been above average. And I okay. think maybe people forget that because it's winter time, it's a little bit cooler. Yeah, wow. Okay, well, it's definitely cool out there today. Yeah, <laughs> definitely a little bit cool. And you know, it's only getting a little bit cooler for your Friday as well. Current temperature, 43 degrees. And you know, we are seeing a little bit of some fog and also some cloud cover. Rain though coming to an end, that is definitely a good thing for your afternoon commute. Take a look at our map here. Notice those clouds still around the area. Maybe a few sprinkles riding along Interstate 66 and 270 into the city, but that's going to be pretty much it for the DC Metro. One thing I do want to talk about though is the shade of blue that we see off to our west. Higher elevation snowfall that's going to continue right through Friday. So we can see Friday at 1 a.m. those darker shades of blue. Again, the higher terrain picking up that snow, but if you do have plans to go skiing in western Maryland over the upcoming weekend, it's looking good for that. They're go going to be gearing up for a couple inches of snow, a fresh four to five inches for some, a little bit of some higher amounts where we see those shades of purple. So some fresh powder coming into any of those ski resort areas. Now, one thing I do want to talk about as well are the wind gusts starting to pick up, especially near Cumberland, Petersburg and Hagerstown, all getting into the 20s. Notice these little arrows coming out of the west. That's eventually going to translate into the DC area. So what does this mean? It's going to be very windy for your Friday. That is for sure. Some of those wind gusts 30 into about 40 miles per hour. Coming up, New Year's
Year's Eve if you have those big plans. Cloud cover, but we're staying dry. That's a good thing. Temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s, so I think it's still good enough to need that heavier coat. Giants versus the Redskins game on Sunday. That's a 425 kickoff. If you're heading out, it's mostly cloudy and it's quite chilly. Temperatures in the 40s, not too far off from average and some showers possible mainly after the game. So it looks like Sunday is a mostly dry day. After midnight, those showers will increase and stick around for the early half of 2017. On Monday, make sure you have the umbrella. Daytime high of 50, hitting 64 by Tuesday. It doesn't get much better than that this time of year. Chance for a morning shower, PM sunshine, and then we will eventually fall Cooler back in the 30s we go by next Friday. Jumi, over to you. All right, Molly, thank you. Well, coming up on ABC 7 News at noon, bringing in the new year with Netflix, we will reveal the most streamed shows by state in 2016. And also bringing in the new year at the National Harbor, what you need to know if you plan to head out to the new MGM Casino.